I'm not sure. All right. Because I think that Upkeep. I think that's a technicality that came a little later in the curve. Uh, six, uh, five. I lose the, I lose this one. I think I oh. know how this game is going to end, and it's going to be glorious. <laughs> All right. Oh, uh, untap. All right. So I'm going to put down a swamp, which will allow me to draw two cards. <sighs> All right. Uh, I'm going to swing at you with my uh, Craven Giant. Okay. I'm going to block with my 1-1 one, one rat token. Okay, then. Boink. Mm -mm. All right. Uh, so, during main phase two, um, I should be able to do this, right? Yeah. I'm going to spend three in order to cast the Flowstone Chambler. Ooh. Mm. I'm going to spend three in order to cast the uh, Morg Thrall. Nice. And I'm going to spend two in order to cast the Wall of Razors. Nice, nice, nice. I will end. Oh, you got the three Caballeros in the battlefield, I see. Upkeep time. <laughs> the upkeep has suddenly become a point of excitement. Uh, two corresponds to yet another Hibernation Sliver. So both of the Hibernation Slivers I discarded in back-to-back -back turns were dead in my hand because, you know, pending a check with this Mountain Land play and I draw two cards, I still do not have a fucking island. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, I'm just I'm just gonna do this because I, I think that this is hilarious. Okay, uh, that's four, seven, thirteen. Here, have a thirteen, thirteen wall. <laughs> Ooh, I was really I was really thinking of running shifting wall too. I I really like shifting wall. The problem with shifting wall is that we don't have any of the defenders can attack. Uh, 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 no, no, no. We do have one of the defenders can attack uh, enchantments in this set. Do we? Yeah, we do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, I think it's I'm a gonna check this. You, you, you. I'm, I'm pretty sure we do. It's, it's a white. Okay, one. you, you commence your turn, and I'm gonna check on All this. Right. Um, upkeep rule four. Mm. Uh, I got two. Okay. Mm, a draw. Okay. Um, I'm gonna put down a mountain so I can draw two. <sighs> hmm. All right, so I'm going to spend five. One, two, three, four, five. In order to cast the Mog Infestation. Oh, nice, nice. Okay. Uh, that's an interesting play given this game state. So you're going to kill all my creatures... For each creature that dies, I produce. I you have to sacrifice a creature, and then for each of the creatures that you kill, I get two one-one red creature tokens. Yep. Okay. Um, can you do me a favor and send a goblin token my way so I can clone it? Uh, do do do. Thank you. Oh, you you got them all for me. Thank you. Okay, so these guys are dead, and you have to sacrifice two creatures. Yeah, I'm gonna sack my flowstone shambler and my grave thrall. Okay, all right, I got a bunch of 1-1s one now, thank you. All right, and then I'm going to spend three in order to cast the Corrupting Livid. Uh, Lissid. Mm. Not Lissid, yes. All right, and uh, I will end. Okay, um, so I, I think it's an error with my Cockatrice client right now is that I can't actually check to see if there are any cards in this set that meet the parameters we were just talking about. There, there are definitely abilities that say that Creatures with defender can attack as though they didn't have defender. Some some creatures, act like the Colossus of Akros, actually just give themselves that ability. Okay. After it becomes monstrous. Okay, I roll the one, so I d drop the planes, draw a card. Yeah, it wasn't the card that I wanted. But I did finally get an island, which means that after all this time, I finally got all five colors that my deck desperately needs. And I draw two cards. Fucking hell. Okay. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. let's let's use that island finally. So I've been waiting for this. Uh, I'm gonna cast a crystalline sliver. Ooh, yeah, that would be a good. That would be a neat little interaction right there. Uh, I'm gonna pay a green and a red to play a spine sliver. 
each creature blocking it, that sliver gets plus one, plus one. I'm gonna tap the laboratory so I can get another sliver token. Okay, that's my two, two Yeah, sliver. there it is. It's, uh, it's called Rolling Stones. Like a rolling stone. It's, so it's in Stronghold? Yeah. Nice. Well, I'm glad you found it. <laughs> I'm gonna play for, I'm gonna play with buyback of Lab Rats to get my rat token. Lab Rats goes back to my hand. And, uh... I'm gonna, t I'm gonna fucking swing at you with all these stupid goblin tokens, because I realize that if you block any of them, you have to sacrifice creatures. Mm, Alright, so, uh, I'm going to block, uh, this one with, uh, with my, uh, with my Lissid, uh, this one with, uh, my Wall of Razors, and then I'm gonna spend two in order to kill, uh, this one. Right, because creatures that are declared as blockers will still continue to block the creature even if they die. So that means that only one of my damage is going to go through. But you yep. lose all your creatures. Yeah, I lose everything. Okay, so three of my guys are dead, all of your guys are dead, and you take one damage, which is noted. And, uh... That, uh... Yeah, that about ends the turn right there. I'm still still waiting for the Sliver Queen. I ain't got no Sliver Queen just yet. Mm. Alright, so I gotta roll a three sided die. Jesus Christ, the Grave Pact is making this a real eternity of a game. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna put down another mountain so I can draw two. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna drop one of my bombs, actually. Nice. Uh, but first, but first. I'm gonna spend two in order to crack my, uh, crack my bull whip in order to kill your uh, uh, other rat, to your uh, rat token. Correct that whip. Alright, so I need to spend five. One, two, three, four, and five on my flowstone mauler. Nice. It doesn't matter, but I, but I managed to get him out anyway. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't matter. No, it doesn't. Uh, this game was over ten turns uh, ago. Yeah, it's, you, you you say you say that, so I guess really I'm the real loser right now because I can't fucking clinch it. I'm gonna roll a five sided die at the beginning of my upkeep. I rolled a two. Hey, there's a chance I could end up discarding the bottomless pit. Uh, the I mean the bottomless pit could end up making me discard the lab rats. Okay, uh, let's put Dune a. Uh, I'm put down another island. I draw two cards. <laughs> Excellent. I'm gonna pay two to cast the Jinx Ring. All right. Whenever a non-token permanent is put into your graveyard from the battlefield, Jinx Ring deals one damage to you. Sacrifice a creature, target opponent, gain, uh, gains control of Jinx Ring. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sacrifice that goblin creature token you gave me, and I'm going to give you the Jinx Ring. Okay. You are now jinxed. Every time a creature, every time a permanent you control hits the graveyard, it, it, has, it has to be a non-token permanent, because because it says card. Yeah, it has to be a non-token yes, permanent. Yeah. All right, awesome. Uh, so, I'm, I'm, I'm getting closer here. <laughs> um, looks to me, honestly, like the best move is to just keep hammering you, because every time you... Can you at least play the damn Sliver Queen? I haven't drawn it yet. <laughs> I'd, damn it! I'd love to. Believe me, I would love to, but I can't. Let's instead do something a little goofier. I'm going to fire another Hornet at you. Behold, a 1-1 one, one Hornet. With haste, and then I'm gonna pay a swamp to play the tortured existence enchantment. I'm gonna check my graveyard to see if maybe there's something of value I can get out of my graveyard. When I have, I mean, I could retrieve my warrior angel. That would be cool. The problem is, yeah, I have to discard a creature card, and well, you can't see the cards in my hand. I do not currently have any creature cards. Not that I had to tell you. I just thought I would let you know. That's why I'm not doing it. Let's instead do, uh, you know what, I'm going to do another Volrath's Laboratory. Give, give me another Black Sliver. Yep. Black Sliver time. 2-2 two, two Black Sliver. Okay. And now, I'm going to swing out. 1-1 <laughs> one, one Hornet, a 2-2, two, 2-2, two, 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 and a 2-2 two, two for 7. Mm. Alright, I'm going to have my Flowstorm Mauler uh, block your, uh, it's... 
Do -do -do -do. Yeah, I'm gonna block your uh, spine sliver. You're gonna block the spine sliver. Okay, you're blocking with one creature, so the spine sliver gets plus one plus one because one creature is blocking it. It's a three three. It will die during the damage step. So you take five damage from the unblocked creatures, and then you sacrifice a flow. You sacrifice your flowstone mauler because of the grave pact enchantment because the creature I control died, and then you take one damage from the jinx ring. All right, precisely. Yep. Okay, so we're we're look we're we're getting close here, everybody. At the end of the turn, the hornet creature token dies. Yep. All right, my move. Mm, upkeep. Um, Got to roll three sided die. Uh, three, so I discard a mountain. All right. Uh, I'm gonna put down a mountain so I can draw two more cards. Um. Let me think here. Would the gods grant me just this one last saving grace on this abysmally slow game? <laughs> Actually, I could I could kill myself this turn. I, I totally have the things on the, uh, on the field in order to kill myself, but I'm not going to. Well, you could definitely deny me the Sliver Queen trigger if you do. <laughs> but I want to see the Sliver Queen come out! I want, it has to come about naturally. I mean, for Christ's sake, I have 13 land cards on the battlefield. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to play the Craven Giant. There's the Craven Giant, okay. And then I'm going to spend two swamps... In order to cast the foul imp, uh, which foul imp. which burns me for two, which burns you for right. two. Uh, then I'm gonna spend two in order to crack my bull whip on my foul imp, uh, uh, which uh, which uh, makes him a, a three a three one with haste. So wait, what? Um, <laughs> what? What are you saying? Uh, doo -doo. No, it does not give him haste. Okay, must attack I, I, if I, I, able, and and the bull whip does not give creatures haste. Okay. Alright. I I thought I thought it was up I thought it was plus one minus one in haste. Okay, discard a card, roll a four sided die now. So so has everyone been paying attention to what the bottomless pit does to the game? Is that at each successive turn the hands get smaller and smaller? Which is uh pretty nasty. Well I did just discard the lab rats, so I can no longer use the lab rats buyback. Okay, this this is uh this is effectively... I, I can kill you this turn, because this is effectively my... Oh, dude, I'm dead. This is uh, my last I, I'm chance. I'm dead, I'm bored. Okay. All right, come on, Silver Queen. Uh, island, draw two cards. Fuck. Um, well, here's a play you probably weren't expecting. I'm going to kill you with a sorcery. Brush with death. Okay, is it Flame Wave? It's, br it's Brush with death oh, with buyback. I was hoping it was Flame Wave. Target opponent loses two life, gains two life, and it has buyback, so it goes that goes back to my hand at the end of the resolution. However, because of state-based actions... Actually, no, it does go back to my hand because it happens simultaneously. Yep. Okay, and that's game. <laughs> sorry sorry right. it took so far. <laughs> <sighs> On to game three. All right. That was uh, I was not I was not expecting that. So it's either this is a real boom or bust exploration, and that was that was a bust. Mm, all right. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep. Ooh, I'm I'm gonna keep this hand. This hand looks pretty tasty. Okay then. Mm, I'm gonna open with a swamp, and I will end. Opening swamp. I also am going to open with a swamp and then pay a black to play Tortured Existence. Okay. I suppose the function of the Tortured Existence in this scenario is it's going to help me get back the Sliver Queen if it hits the graveyard. If it hits the graveyard. Yeah. I'm going to play the Mog Flunkies. Well, of course, nothing, I will not, nothing stalls cards from hitting the graveyard like not being able to play them. <laughs> uh, let's play another swamp and end the turn. Okay, then. The Mog Flunkies can't attack me because it's a scaredy cat that can't attack or block uh, along. No, it, need, it needs leadership, so let's give him a leader, shall we? Is it the Craven Giant? Uh, no. A Serpent Warrior. Oh, that's cool. Nice. Alright, I will oh, So now I'm in a bit of a p -p 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 pickle here. Yank. Oh, nice. I think I'm going to uh, use this right now. Pay a black for the mind peel. Okay. Target player discards a card, and target player is you. Um. All right. Uh. I will discard my flowstone chambler. Boom. Gone. 
dead. And then I'm going to end my turn, because I have no other plays right now. <laughs> okay, then. <laughs>